outrunning explosions. Apparently you only have to worry about the flame and the concussive impact is really minimal. If it's enough to lift you in the air, it's enough to kill before you hit the ground. The way that apparently crime lab solved crimes with DNA tests and unlimited access to every camera in every building in the city. Enhance. Enhance more. There it is. How absolutely loud gunfire is especially in enclosed spaces. Hero in a concrete stairwell. No hearing protection bang 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 then hears footsteps as someone sneaks up on them. You'd be deaf and ears ringing for a day after. Yeah. Linda Hamilton has hearing loss in one ear because she forgot to wear plugs in a take of the elevator scene in Terminator 2. The instant death neck crack. But that's Steven Seagal's signature move. Are you telling me he isn't trustworthy? No one ever asks how to spell things. Detective, on the phone, we've eyed the victim, and I need you to search her phone records. Her name is Brittany Beza Delacroix. Guide computer, backslash, types it in flawlessly backslash, got it. I like to call in information to my dispatchers. her name is Jane Jane, Wojcichowski, common spelling. When their entire family or friend group dies, but they're absolutely fine after a minute or two and just move on. Luke was barely phased phased by his aunt and uncle burning to death. That the only thing to worry about in space movies is if a planet has oxygen or not. And if they do, gravity is always right around 1 gram. How to properly use a goddam inhaler for asthma. Yeah, Noon seems to know you are supposed to use it like this, https, slash slash yauta point b slash soimk 6 ng. Anything to do with forensics and autopsies. Medical examiner's offices are incredibly poorly funded. They do not have access to 1% of the technology shown on TV, and in fact, a lot of what is shown just doesn't exist. Oh yeah his organs are full of carbon monoxide and his ribcage is smashed, in says the autopsy guy without even cutting open the body. Spare time. When do these people work, and where does the money come from? Friends had a funny moment, I believe it was friends anyway, where they were all complaining about their jobs, and one of them said, something along the lines of, well, not that strange you're getting nowhere, considering you're lounging in a cafe on a Tuesday. Defibrillators are always hilarious, because that is never how they work, ever. I laughed my asterisk asterisk off the other day, because I happened to walk in, while my mother was watching some god awful soap opera and some woman apparently had her comatose son hidden away somewhere, don't ask me why, I don't fucking know, and he started coding, so she whipped out a defibrillator to try, and revive him, and despite being alone in the room, still shouted clear. I just asked out loud who the f asterisk 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 is she even saying that for? It was hysterically bad. The 80s. Turn on the radio in the 80s, and you could well hear a song from the 60s. House decors were often a mix of the 70s and 80s, and cars were often not from that decade. Movies make the 80s out to be neon blue and pink, but I remember the 80s as being very brown. I can tell from my baby pictures from the early 80s that everything around me was brown or yellow. The speed at which police forensics can take place. They solve things in minutes that really take days or weeks or months. Enhance. The sound usually used for an eagle call in movies is actually the call of a red-tailed hawk. Eagles just don't sound majestic enough, so they did the old switcheroo. Same thing with lions. The lion roars in Lion King were tigers. Hacking. Computers are basically the new do sex machina. About 10 minutes before the show's over, the resident nerd will say something like I cross-referenced the license plate with the average rainfall in each region, and compared that with the average number of clown shoes sold per capita in nearby American cities, so the killer is probably in this 3 block radius. Then, there's a car chase. Yellow tint when there is a scene in Mexico. I went to Mexico, and can confirm your vision turns yellow. Women in fights with long hair not pulled back. The IRL explanation for this is that it makes it easier to have the stunt woman be less noticeable. An example of this is in Captain America, the Winter Soldier, in the street fight scene. Anytime Natasha's hair is in her face, it's the stunt woman. 
It's still annoying, though. Ammo remaining in their gun. As a rule you always have more rounds until the drama of the scene demands that you suddenly don't. It always bothers me how long people look over at their passenger when driving. Keep your eyes on the road. Or have long conversations with plenty of eye contact while driving at highway speeds. Over and out. It's a common issue that drives me nuts due to it being relevant to my job. I work in Coast Guard radio monitoring and communications with mariners. Over means I'm done speaking and I'm now awaiting your response. An example is sailing vessel sunny day. This is a Coast Guard. Over. Out means I have completed our conversation. There will be no further broadcasts from me. An example is Roger that sunny day. You are not in distress. Coast Guard standing by on channel 16. Out. Over and out makes no freaking sense, yet it's in everything. Radio shows. Commercials. Cartoons. Movies. Books. Yes that annoys me so much as well. The easy way to remember that I got taught was. Over. Over to you to respond. Out. Out of this conversation with you. The treatment for flatline. No. You are not supposed to get the defibrillators. Edit. I'm a former cardiology technician student who couldn't quite pass the licensing exam. Others in the comments below are more knowledgeable than I am. I know asterisk SOME asterisk stuff. Aren't those supposed to be for ahithmias? What an elementary classroom looks like. You mean the 12 kids per class? Cancer treatment. The person always has a completely bald head, no discoloration because that part of the head has almost never seen the sun, but still have their eyebrows, perfectly done, or else they have no eyebrows, again, perfectly shaved, and they always have their royal ashes. Chimo causes hair to fall out everywhere, but how many actors are going to let Macube get rid of their royal ashes? Adding on to this, how they depict diabetes. From one cupcake to coma, or injecting insulin follows its wild. Opening presents. The boxes almost always have a top that lifts right off, rather than being wrapped like a gift. Yeah, the props department doesn't want to have to wrap it between every take. Birth. Yes, the infamous oh here I'm at a restaurant whoops my water broke, and now the baby is crowning. Like, probably someone has given birth like that. That's not a typical experience, but it is what's depicted a lot for some reason. Anyone curious, the difference is it's slow well. Some people are in labor for just a few hours, and that's very quick. The average labor lasts 12 to 24 hours for a first birth, and is typically shorter, 8 to 10 hours, for other births. First us Google result. My first baby was a whopping 36 hours. Contractions 2 to 4 minutes apart the entire time. Second baby 9 hours. Any relationship in a romantic comedy would be classified as stalking or harassment in the real world. Honey, I climbed on your roof to prove my love to you. WTF go away I'm calling the police. This is niche. And by niche I mean the nichest of niche. But anyway, in almost every film or television show depicting military combat in the 18th century, think the American Revolution or the Seven Years' War, the soldiers wear their cocked hats, trickhorn hats, facing forward. In reality the hats were worn at an angle, because if you had to turn your head while shouldering your rifle or musket, it would end up hitting your head were out of place had they been worn facing forward. This is a great one. Fighting. Especially knife fighting. Nobody wins in a knife fight, it's gonna get nasty and both parties are likely to end up with slashes and punctures. I saw something recently where a girl's body was discovered with 90 something defensive wounds. Imagine both parties had a knife. It was tragic for her, but the killer could have received some nasty wounds too if she was also slashing.